Two of the most iconic buildings in Denver skyline are in real financial trouble. Lenders have taken over the management of Republic Plaza and the Wells Fargo Center, known as the cash register building. The owner of both buildings has defaulted on a loan. Steve Steger looks at what happens next. Well, since COVID began, it's become more and more common. The new normal strikes again. One of the core issues certainly is that less people are going to the office. Since the beginning of the year, Republic Plaza and the Wells Fargo Center have been on thin financial ice. By the way, from now on, I'll call the Wells Fargo Center what it really is, Denver's cash register building. But basically the owner of those two buildings, uh, same owner, um, has defaulted on the loans. Thomas Gownley is a reporter for Business Den who's covered the tough situation for these two buildings. It's not like a 30 year mortgage where you have the same rate at the end of the loan term. You might still owe, you know, 100 million plus dollars and you either need to give the bank 100 million dollars at that date or you get a new loan. The problem is getting a new loan is tough. Interest rates are high now and those buildings aren't worth what they once were. Gownley says Republic Plaza was valued at $535 million in 2012. Its latest valuation put the building at $298 million. So, you know, oops, we lost $230 million. The cash register building was worth $475 million in 2019 now 287 million. One of the problems, people aren't coming back to the office and companies are downsizing on office space. So it's really um, an office epidemic across the U.S. Manis Clancy is an analyst who tracks commercial leases in the U.S. Almost every major city in the U.S. has at least a couple of buildings that are similar to Republic Plaza and the Wells Fargo Center in Denver. So what happens if these buildings go into foreclosure? Do they get boarded up? doubtful. Uh, these are really iconic buildings for Denver, so I expect somebody will want them, just not for the prices that were paid a couple years ago. Gownley says you don't have to look far down the street for proof. The former World Trade Center, now Denver Energy Center, foreclosed last year. There's still companies that report to work at the Denver Energy Center. It's just, it's now owned by Chase Bank. So the, the buildings won't be like, you know, turn into wastelands. So now it's time to ask that eternal question. Why don't you just turn them into apartments, right? Well, the city's obviously looking at repurposing office space into residential, but these buildings would be tough to do that. Think about it. You're going to want a window on your apartment so they would build apartments around the exterior of the building, leaving tens of thousands of square feet, Kyle, right in the middle of the building unused. Yes. Yeah. You want the biggest apartments you've ever seen before. Pickleball courts. Yeah. Uh, just a thought there. But I mean, it's not like there isn't new office space being built. That's weird, though, that they're building new office space around town while other office space sits vacant. Yeah. Well, if you want to draw people back into the office, they want a fancy, shiny new office space. They call that Class A office space. These other buildings are turning into Class B and Class C, built in the 80s. You can't update them as easily. Luck, like They're likely going to have to update them at some point to make them a little bit newer and fresher, but you're always going to have those new, shiny buildings mm. that everybody wants to be. That's interesting context. Class A report, Steve Steger. Thank you. Class A report.